Hey everyone, it's Daria. I'm back in Dnipro, Ukraine after spending three months at the Odin in Austin, Texas. Uh, many of you probably know the Odin. It's an amazing biohacking company that sells kits and just supplies to biohackers. And I was very lucky to spend their time, you know, uh, chat with the team and just see how it's organized. So I'm launching a new video series about biohacking spaces and this first video is actually going to be about the Odin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video series and there's, you know, more videos coming soon because I just think it's very interesting to see how people organize their working spaces and I hope it encourages you to start biohacking too. Enjoy! So the Odin company started in 2016 by Josiah Zayner and he actually crowdfunded money to set up the company. They used to be in San Francisco Bay Area but now they moved to Austin, Texas. And they started selling CRISPR kits for $160 and now it's a much bigger biotech company that sells human cell culture kits, genetic engineering kits for bacteria, human cell cultures, and pretty much anything you need for your lab or for biohackers. So it's one and only company made by biohackers for biohackers. And here we have the main building, the main you know, lab, this is the space, this is the company, and it looks very unorthodox to many people, but I like it. I think biotech company should look more like this. And we're gonna start with the first room, we call it cell room or micro injection room, it's actually a room I built. And actually, you know, I put in the walls, uh, covered the holes, I painted this room, I assembled the tables, and it was just, just, I was like, yeah, just build me, you know, a micro injection setup and I had to learn how to do it all. And uh, that's just kind of just I, how he is, what kind of person he is. She just, yeah, just build it, just learn how to do it. And we actually work with um, embryos here, specifically zebrafish embryos that we breed and um, grow. And you know, the what I love about this room, just listen to the sound of water. It's super satisfying, it's super chilling, and we also have goldfish, which we use for real fake meat project. There's more uh, pictures, more video of a, this beautiful micro injection setup made from um, micro manipulator, micro injector, and uh, inverted Nikon microscope. And we're, here we have little larva, zebrafish larva. We actually called them Fred line. I don't remember why, I think David Ishi called them that, but they're pretty cute and super, super small. Of course, Ukrainian flag, how without it? And then we have fridge with all the media and uh, everything we need for human cell cultures. Of course, a CO2 incubator with uh, chicken meat cells growing there that we actually extracted. And of course, liquid nitrogen. You can go with liquid nitrogen without liquid nitrogen when you're working with cell cultures to because you actually use it to store them indefinitely, pretty much. Uh, you can actually actually use negative 80 freezer as well. And I love this window because you can just sit there and look at people working while you chill. <laughs> and then we'll move into the next room. It's a, also an X conference room. And this is going to be a podcast room that they're working on. So it's just going to be a specific The Odin podcast. And yeah, you can see it's kind of in the mood, moody. Then we have Josiah Zayner carrying a camera uh, to film by Hug the Planet documentary. And this is, you can kind of see this, the shipping station and the main lab and everything else is combined. It's an open space. And it's still in work, still in process and work. And uh, this video has been filmed like two months ago and I'm pretty sure everything looks way different right now. But here we have the lab space. There's, uh, you know, People work here on assembling kids, making experiments, there are solo projects, and everything you everything you order from the Odin is shipped assemble is shipped from here and assembled here. There's some human cell cultures going on, um, autoclave for sterilization, and here my favorite part, one of my favorite desks is actually Lira Nimakel's desk. She's a um, a resident mycologist at the Odin and she does pretty cool stuff with the fungi. Uh, I didn't even 
no, you can do that kind of stuff on fungi. For some reason, I thought that mushrooms are not interesting at all, but she completely changed my view about it. There is, we can see kombucha leather growing. Uh, Kessler is actually working on that, and it's pretty fun. You can see it's transparent. So it's very fun. And there you can see team just chatting and working. And I have to say that team at the Odin is very special and very amazing. And Josiah definitely has a talent to to just put great people together and accomplish things. And many of them work on solo projects at the Odin, which I love. You you can spend time, you know, working on packages and all that stuff. But other free time you use for your solo projects and you can use everything at the Odin to do your science, do fun stuff, not so fun stuff. And there is a shipping station with all the boxes and this is where we assembled the boxes where we assemble the packages. You can see the pipettes and chips and everything. I love the way they use these plastic containers, just assemble kits. And I love this place. It looks maybe unorganized to some people, but it's very organized and it's easy to assemble kits. I love this uh, deli fridge they used and they put it on wheels. And amazing thing is how Josiah bought these cabinets from Salvation Army and how he combines this kind of antique uh, furniture with, uh, you know, this super advanced biotech equipment. And it looks funky to some people or at first, but I love how it looks. I'm pretty sure you never see it at other biotech companies just next to a negative 80 freezer. And you can see this furniture all over the lab. You can see, see here we have stainless steel tables, David working on some protocols, and there it is, this antique glass cabinet. Another thing I want to talk about is this beautiful mural, this art made by, made by local Austin uh, artists. It says, I want the whole world or nothing in this pop art style, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And just look at it. And then see, you have this office, living room area, also a lot of antique, old, vintage, uh, furniture. It's still, you can see ladders and all that stuff because there's still work going on and uh, renovating this place and we kind of have a kitchen there and see another glass cabinet, very beautiful and fungus as a decoration, as a sculpture, beautiful cordyceps, I think it is. And I like how green it is in Austin and the big windows, you rarely see that in biotech companies as well. So there's team working and of course alcohol. How without alcohol at the Odin? I don't know. I've been very fortunate, you know, to spend time there at the Odin, just meeting the team, film staring in a documentary and learning so so much from this amazing company. And I truly believe that this company is actually going to change the world. And it may sound very pretentious, but I truly believe in that. I want to say thanks to our patrons for supporting us and uh, thanks for helping us move our lab. Subscribe to our Patreon and we post a lot there and we are very lucky to have you guys. And use code YANALAB for 20% off at the Odin. Bye.